Hello, eighth graders. Um, let's give this a shot. So um, we're going to do our first recorded lesson. Last week we um, learned about multiplying exponents. And um, the first case we dealt with was multiplying powers with the same base. So we've got powers with the same base. Right. And what I mean by that is, for instance, we have x to the 5th, and we have x to the 9th, and we want to multiply those two powers together. All right. Notice they both have the common base of x. All right. We have one that has an exponent of 5, one that has an exponent of 9. Now, what we learned from last week was that we need to, step one, keep the base the same. What do we have to do? keep the base. So step one is keep the base. Step two, try to remember, we add the exponents. Add exponents. So if we follow those two steps, we'll be, we'll be in good shape. So for that first example, our common base is x. We will keep that. We take the exponents, 5 and 9, add them together. That gives us 14. All right, so our product is x to the 14th. Now, you're not always going to see variables as the bases. You might see integers like 2 to the 5th times 2. So we have a common base of 2. We are going to add the exponents. Uh-oh, I've got an exponent of 5, but... I don't see an exponent next to that too. What is it? It's a one. All right, so remember, if you don't see an exponent, there's an invisible exponent of one. Five plus one is six. So that's two to the six, and we could actually simplify that because we could do that with our calculator or just two times two times two, six times. All right, so we could do two, carrot sign six, and that gives us 64. All right. We could also have fractional bases, like 1 half. Say we have 1 half to the third. Now remember, if you have fractional bases, it's very important to keep them in parentheses. So we have 1 half to the third times 1 half to the second. That would give us 1 half all to the 3 plus 2 is 5. And we can expand that. All right, really what this means is 1 to the 5th power all over 2 to the 5th power. So that's like our power rule that we're going to come up with next. All right. um, and 1 to the 5th power is just 1. 2 to the 5th power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we've got 4 times 2 is 8 times another 2 is 16 times another 2 is 32. And you could always do that on your calculator. So that simplifies to 1 32nd. All right. Now, you might also get into the case where we have some products that we need to multiply together. So say we have 2x to the 4th times 3x to the 6th. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use the commutative and associative property of multiplication to group our 2 and our 3 together, so 2 times 3 is 6. Then we're going to group our variables together. So we have a common base of x. We keep the base the same. We're going to add exponents. 4 plus 6 is 10. So our product there is 6x all to the 10th power. All right, so if you follow these two steps, you'll be in good shape. Keep the base the same. Add the exponents. Um, be careful when you have negative bases as well. All right, next rule. Power rule, so say power rule. Power rule is kind of fun to say. All right, power rule. What I mean by that is I mean we have a power, so we have something like x to the fifth, and we are going to raise that to another power. So we'll put an exponent of 2 on the outside. So x to the fifth, all raised to the second power. Now what we're going to do here is we are going to keep the base the same again. So step one. Keep the base.
step two. Multiply exponents. All right, so two steps, keep the base, multiply exponents. So our base here is x. We are going to do five times two, which is 10. So our answer here is x to the 10th. Now again, this works with integers and fractions and decimals. So say we have two squared, all raised to the third power. We're going to keep our base the same, two. Our exponent is going to be two times three, which is six. And again, we know two to the six, that is 64. All right, so we can simplify when you guys actually have a number as your base, might as well simplify it. Now when it gets tricky, is when you have a product inside parentheses. So say you have something like 2xy to the third, all raised to the fourth power. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to keep all the bases the same. All right, so 2x and y are all considered bases, 2xy. Now we need to multiply that outside exponent by all of the exponents inside. Well, what's the exponent attached to 2? It's a 1. So we're going to do 1 times 4. So we get 2 to the 4th power. What's the exponent attached to the x? It's a 1. So we're going to do 1 times 4, which is also 4. So we have an exponent of 4 with our x. Then we have y to the 3rd. We're going to multiply the 3 times the 4. That gives us an exponent of 12. So our product here is 2 to the 4th, x to the 4th, y to the 12th. Now 2 to the 4th, we know what that is. That's just 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. So we have 16 x to the 4th, y to the 12th. All right, so there you have it. We've got multiplying powers with the same base. That was the first one we did. And we also have the power rule. Um, so right now you guys are in good shape. You can hop on IXL.com, IXL. Dot com, and you can work on the skills F8, that's multiplying powers with the same base, and F11, that's our power rule, raising a power to a power. Now, don't forget my golden rule. When in doubt, expand. All right, and if you have any questions about expanding or remembering these rules, feel free to email me, send me a message on Google um, Classroom. All right, so good luck, guys. Show up, hustle, repeat.